This is Dane Scott. I'm a Fiverr voiceover guy, inviting you to join me for the webinar Fiverr Voiceover Gold, a video where we go over 10 things you can do strictly through communication that will boost your sales. The fact is that everything we do on Fiverr, whether we're making an initial contact, sending a quote, answering questions, acknowledging an order, following up on an order, any communication is all a part of sales. And when you take that approach, you begin to view your communication, your treatment of your customers, the quality of your work, and every other aspect of the Fiverr experience through the sales lens. It's all a fancy way of saying every communication matters, and if you know the right things to do and say at the right times, it can make you money on Fiverr. I've proven it, and I'd like to prove it to you. As a free little introduction to the course, here's a bonus 11th tip that has to do with not communicating. First, let's talk about what I would say is the no crickets rule. I think it's the thing we need to avoid at all costs, and that's doing nothing, not communicating. I can give you a perfect example of an experience I had recently where I needed some labels done, some stickers for a new product that I'd come up with. So I found a seller on Fiverr and placed an order for some labels and nothing. No response, no answer, no thanks for the order. And so I waited and finally after about a week, some labels arrived in the mail. They were the wrong size. And so I wrote right away and said, the labels look very nice, but they are the wrong size. Please refer to my order. Then finally they did get back and they said, oh, you're right. We just checked and we did send you the wrong thing. Sorry. And then that was it. So I thought, well, I'll try and handle this diplomatically. So I said, do you need me to send back these labels? Again, dead silence, nothing more. And so I wrote one more time and I said, how would you like to resolve the issue of the incorrectly fulfilled order? And after another day of delay, I got a message back saying, I'll get them done for you and send them out tomorrow, which was fine. But for me, it was a real eye opener to see what it's like to be on the buyer end. And it just made me all the more resolved not to treat my customers that way. When instead of silence, there are so many things that I can do to not only enhance their experience, but to enhance my business by the way that I take care of them. So there you go, the no crickets rule. Well, there's an example of, I guess in a sense, the kinds of things we won't be covering in the actual webinar when you think about it, because that was all about what not to do. The actual webinar will be covering items that we should do and can do that will make us more money on Fiverr. Hope you'll sign up and join me for it.